Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a prom makeup tutorial and I am going to be using um, affordable products. The majority of these products you can find at your local drugstore. There are a few products that you can only find online but I will list them down below and you could purchase them and they are affordable. Or you might already have shades that are similar or you could find shades that are similar at the drugstore. Of course, starting with our clean face, I'm gonna start off with L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher. I find that this product works best when you dab it into the face so that it gets into the pores. And this product really helps minimize the look of pores. Taking our CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation, I'm gonna dab this all over the face. Then going in with a damp beauty blender, I'm going to buff in my foundation and I feel that when I use a beauty blender in combination with this foundation, it just gives me a really flawless finish. I absolutely love it. Be sure to also bring the foundation down the neck so that there's a sort of transition, it's not all choppy. Next, taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15, I'm going to apply this under the eye to hide any dark circles and to also brighten the under eye area. I'm also going to take that concealer and put it up on my lids and that's going to just work as a primer for my eyeshadows. Now I'm going back in with that Beauty Blender just to buff everything out. Going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, I'm going to take this onto my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to dab this all over the face just to set everything. Moving on to the eyebrows, I'm taking my e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Medium and I'm taking that waxy side and I'm just going to define my eyebrows. that powdered side I'm just gonna go ahead and dab this over the eyebrows just to fill them in a little bit more now just taking any spoolie just brush through the brows next I'm just using my Maybelline great lash mascara and transparent and this is just gonna help set the eyebrows Now starting with the eyes, I'm taking this BH Cosmetics palette and this is the day and night palette and I'm taking the e.l.f. professional blending eye brush. I'm starting off with this brown color right here um, and I'm going to take that onto my lid. I'm also going to take that onto the crease and I'm even going to go past the crease and I'm just going to blend this out until I get the desired intensity that I want. Taking this peachy color, I'm going to take that onto the same brush and I'm going to apply that right above the eyeshadow that we just placed and this is just going to help blend everything out and just soften the edges a little bit. Now taking this dark gold color, I'm going to take my Echo Tools Large Eyes Brush and I'm going to pack this all over the lids and this is just going to help intensify the look and just give it a nice shimmer. On 
to this dark brown, I'm taking my angled crease echo tools brush and I'm going to apply this to the outer edge of my eye. Um, and this is just once again going to help intensify it even more. Now going in with that original brush that we used, this is the Blending Eye Brush from e.l.f. I'm taking a lighter brown shade and I'm applying that around the edges just to soften everything up a bit more. Now going in with this gold shadow, I'm taking the Echo Tools Petite Eye Shading Brush and I'm just going to pack this onto the lid just to give it even more of a gold effect. this elf defining eye brush and I'm gonna use this matte white shadow from the palette and I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone Right along I'm taking this Echo Tools smudge brush and I'm taking that original brown shadow that we used and I'm just applying that under the eye just to give it more of a smoked out look. Next going in with this Real Techniques shading brush I'm going to take this white shimmer shadow from the palette and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of the eye just to highlight and brighten up your eyes. Taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in Black, I'm going to apply this to the upper lash line and I'm going to do this kind of messily. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to smudge that out. I'm taking the black eyeshadow from the palette using the Echo Tools smudge brush and I'm gonna apply this right above the eyeliner. As you can see I'm just smudging this back and forth and once again it does not have to be perfect. It could be a little sloppy and it's just fun and it gives it a nice smoky look. Taking that same eyeliner I'm gonna apply that to the waterline. Next I'm going to apply a thin coat of mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara and this is just going to help prep for the eyelashes. Next I'm going in with NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and I'm starting in the inner corner and taking that about halfway in. And this just adds a touch of gold, I think it's beautiful. Next I'm taking my Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Waterproof Mascara and I'm just using this to coat the bottom lashes. Moving on to lashes, I'm taking my Red Cherry number 43 and I'm using my Duo Dark Tone Adhesive. So as you can see, I'm getting a bit close to the camera just to show you approximately how much glue to use. You want to be sure to really put glue on the edges especially because those are the parts of the lashes that lift up easier. Now I'm just taking any tweezers and I'm going to use this to help apply the lashes. Now it's really important that you wait about 30 to 40 seconds so that the glue is tacky. As you can see, I didn't wait and I'm having kind of a hard time. It's not sticking very easily, but just play around with the lashes and just ensure that the false lashes and your real lashes are as close together as they could be. And make sure that your false lashes don't extend out past your real lashes. I promise it's not that difficult. It just takes a little bit of practice. I feel like for prom, eyelashes are very important. I feel like it amps up your look. And if you're not able to do it, ask somebody to do it for you. I just think it makes a huge difference and it just looks beautiful. Moving on 
to bronzer, I'm taking the NYX Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder and I'm using the BH Cosmetics Contour Brush. And I'm just gonna contour a little bit. I'm gonna start off above the ear and work my way down toward my edge of my lip, but I'm gonna be sure not to pass the edge of my eyebrow. Now taking my Echo Tools Domed Bronzer, I'm going to use that same product and I'm going to bronze up my face a bit. I'm just going to go over that contour just to blend it out a bit. And I'm also going to go up to the temples and I'm also going to bring it down to the chin just a little bit. Now taking my Milani blush and this is in Rose Oro. I'm taking my e.l.f. angled blush brush and I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and working it back toward my hairline. Now going in with this e.l.f. powder brush, I'm just going to go over everything and just make sure that everything is well blended and that there are no harsh lines. Now taking this Daisy Blush Duo, I'm taking that highlight shade and I'm just going to apply this above the cheekbone just for some highlight. lash glue has dried I'm gonna take the eyeliner again and just quickly go over it and I'm also gonna take the black eyeshadow with the brush just to hide the band a little bit moving on to lips I'm applying this Rimmel London lipstick in the color 101 and I'm just gonna layer that with the Revlon 215 supernatural lip gloss Well, that's it for today's makeup look i hope you liked it like i said all the products that were used in this video are drugstore and or affordable products i think the only thing that i used in this video accidentally was my beauty blender um i think this is kind of considered a higher end product because it is about twenty dollars um but you could opt out for the real technique sponge which works just as well. I hope you have a fun time at prom. I personally never went to my prom, so I'm a little jealous. But have fun, enjoy yourself, and be safe. Bye!